The city's also got 11, I believe, hybrid buses, and uh, that's the main focus of why we're here. It's a little bit different animal than what we're used to dealing with, and we're trying to learn the uh, hazards and uh, so we can teach our people how to be safe on the fire ground or in a situation involving a hybrid bus and uh, how to safely handle them. Uh, they are different, and uh, we're trying to point out the uh, ways that the uh, responders can Dis, then it disable the bus so they can deal with the situation in hand. So what are some of the differences? Are, are the differences in getting into the bus or uh, the bus? Not so much getting into the bus. Uh, the big thing with the hybrid is the amount of voltage that uh, the hybrid bus is going to have compared to the other vehicles on the road that we deal with. Uh, the buses that they run over here uh, maybe 12, 24 volts, car volt, uh, a regular passenger car, maybe 12 volts system. The hybrid bus system uh, generates six to 900 volts, so there's quite a bit more voltage and uh, possibly in excess of 300 amps, so it's quite a bit of amperage too, so for the responders dealing with the bus, uh, it's a more dangerous situation, obviously, and we're trying to teach them how to deal with it safely. There are ways, I guess, to work around the electricity? Yeah, there is. Uh, the manufacturers on the cars, on the hybrids, automobiles, try to put some type of disconnect somewhere so we can pull it and uh, disable the car, just leaving the batteries energized uh, and the system energized for a short period of time. But on these hybrid, but on the automobiles, uh, they're not in the same location on every automobile that's a hybrid on the road. So that makes it a problem for us trying to locate them. We have to spend the time to find them. Uh, sometimes they're in the trunk up underneath the carpet and underneath you where your spare tire's at. Uh, they may be underneath the rear seat. Uh, but on the buses that the, the city have had, that they purchased on the hybrid bus, uh, they're all on the outside. It makes it more accessible for us to access it and find it and, and get to it quicker. So. How's the training going so far? So far, so good. It's been good. Uh, it's some, uh, something new. You know, we're trying to, uh, the people that have been over here up to this point uh, have asked a lot of questions, you know, good questions. And uh, it seems, you know, the BUTS people have tried to accommodate us and they initiated the training uh, by, you know, letting us know that they had the hybrids and wanted us to do some training with them if we could so we could uh, train our people and uh, so it's going well.